all right folks i'm gonna do a little video here show you all how to how i take uh, the hardware off of trunks without breaking them and uh, if you look at this trunk this trunk had been refurbished once years ago and whoever did it really did a lot of sanding on this it may have been done more than once and if you look here you can see all the gouge marks where they'd sand it against the grain and cut it and this trunk was originally covered with leather they sanded this trunk so much this this was off the lid see how much wood they had taken off of this off of this slat that went on the lid I've already done the lid and it's finished here's some of the tools I use I use a putty knife that has metal all the way through all the way through to the end of it that way I can get under the nail I can hit it with a hammer and when I move that nail then I'll use a tack puller to pull it up a little bit more and then I either snip the head off or I, I pull it up out of the hole depends on if it feels like it's coming really easy I'll go ahead and pull it out of the hole but if not I snip the head off and then I drive it the rest of the way through back toward the inside of the trunk with this nail set so I'm gonna get my daughter's gonna my daughter's gonna hold the camera for me and I'm gonna take this bracket off the right here the I didn't, it doesn't matter Probably. okay I'm gonna take this bracket off here so I'm gonna come up underneath the nail And if the nail breaks, that's fine. It feels like it's going to be pretty stiff. And that's what you want to do. You want to roll this. Take a little bite and roll it. It feels like it's really tight. So I'm just going to snip it off. I don't want to tear up the wood. Wear glasses when you do this because those pieces will fly. Should come off. Let me get under it with this putty knife. Voila, and it popped right off. Then I'll take my nail set. And I punch it the rest of the way through. And I'll number, I'm going to clean this up a little bit inside here and I'm going to put a number. I'll, I always get a piece of paper and I go front, this will be number one, number two over there, three, four on the front. I'll do that later. Next I'm going to take this latch off. Same way. Come up under here. Some of these trunks will have a, a washer under them. If they do, I don't believe this one does. 
I don't feel any. It'll have a washer up underneath it. And I have a belt grinder. I grind the head of the rivet off with the washer on it. And then they drive right out. This one's going to be a tough one. This trunk was built pretty well. Get up there. Look here folks, it has a washer in it. That's why it's been so tough. I need to get this paper off of here so I can see what's underneath. Once I grind this off right here, it'll drive right out. But that gives you an idea how to take these back off. And then this hole right here, I'll drill this hole out to a 3 16 and put a 3 16 dowel rod in there and glue it in. So when I go to nail this back on here, you can't these last, you can't hope move them over just a little bit. You have to go through that same hole again to make it fit right. So I'm going to plug that hole and then I'm going to nail the new one on it when I get it all sanded, cleaned up. I hope that helps you out a little bit. Bye.